So this is my YouTube channel. It's my third one. They've taken my other ones down. Um, you know, like it's happened to anybody that's trying to speak the truth. Um, and TikTok, it's, you know, they're, they're, they're suppressing a couple of videos of mine. Um, like they have zero views. That's just unusual. And I know why they're doing it. It's usually why they usually do it. It's because it's, you know, it's a sensitive thing regarding the justice system. But anyway, um, so if you go to at Bethany7363 on YouTube or under my account for Rumble, but sometimes Rumble like mixes my videos up, like it doesn't put the most recent on the top. So, um, and you just go, go to this channel and then see what's most recent, the, the couple I've put up there. The one prior to the, right be, there's two I put up today, well three, but there's one that, um, I don't want to say the name of the club, but it has club in the, the description. I don't want to say it because I, I don't know if that's why they're um, messing with me, but so you can go, I usually will upload to to that this channel on YouTube, Rumble and TikTok, but um. So I was listening to also on another note, uh, people might want to go look up um, Car uh, Tucker Carlson on, I think he's on Twitter, right? That's where he's doing his interviews now. So he has a long interview with um, Victor Davis Hanson. I've talked to him, I, I've talked to him, no, I've never talked to him, but I've talked about him before. He's is higher educated and he's very wise. Um, very and he's very calm about things like I get really worked up right it's because I it's more just the passion in me it's like it makes me so mad that people would do this to somebody's country like as if they own it you know um I it, it, so but I saw the writing on the wall three years ago I I mean I honestly if I if I didn't think that uh if I hadn't have realized if I would not have realized how dangerous what we're facing is I, I wouldn't have been I wouldn't have put everything on the line I wouldn't because I, I put a lot on the line um, I, I mean really obviously because I'm calling out my entire not my entire profession but the people that run my profession at the top in the you know the powers that be of nursing um, as far as the associations unions so I mean um, you know, I, I don't, I'm not rich or anything. I, I, I could easily be crushed. But this system too, as corrupt as it is, especially in nursing, what I've had happen to me, they have crushed me before. I mean, they've never really annihilated me like they probably wanted to. <laughs> um, because I would just move on, you know, to a different job. And, um, but I, I, I've tried to stand up to the system and, um, they'll knock you down as many times as they have to. Um, that's when I noticed a long time ago, 12 years ago, how corrupt it was, how, how cutthroat they will go, you know, using a patient, a, a, you know, a DCFS kid. So, and then I've gone on to other jobs and I've had some shady stuff happen too. And, and, and it's just the result of nurses, you know, nurses in, in leadership positions or in education positions that will do shady things to get, they'll do shady things to get rid of a nurse. They will. I've had it happen. So, um, to get you to quit, then they, you can't fight them. And, 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 but you see the writing on the wall because you know, they'll, they'll send you to the nursing board, that kind of stuff, even though they have nothing. But it, I saw how sick the system was being operated. And now I understand why, because of the leadership, the very leadership at the very top. Um, I mean, when you have nurses that are educated, <laughs> that they're educators and yet all oh, their previous nurses were they were assistant managers and um they helped um try to set you up and then that you go on to another job and run into them and then they're an educator and they change a pixis count like you just know that it's like no this if we had an ethical leadership at the very top uh, this th we would not have nurses that are this um, disgusting that do this. Um, but I tried fighting it, uh, you know, at, before, and then it's like you realize that 
it, it, you're up against City Hall. Um, I mean, and look at what they're doing to Trump. And what happened to me was on a small level. But three, four years ago, when I realized putting this, I'm like, oh, no, we're we're in such dangerous territory. We're in really bad. I mean, and most of most of I mean, I had to listen. I was at a, a class earlier this morning and I had to listen to somebody talk about how um, now they won't give money for HIV because they're afraid they'll use it for abortion. These people that, you know, wanted to ban abortion. And, and it took everything in me not to just like start screaming about all of it. And I just walked away, but because I thought you have no idea what's going on. You have no clue whatsoever because you will believe whatever CNN says. That will be the detriment to that side that continues to stay there because they, they will continue to, to, to tell themselves, no, this, this person, she's irrational. Listen to her. No, I'm not irrational. I brought evidence. I, I brought rationale. Um, I get upset about it because I... I think the audacity of these people to do this, to do this. I mean, because I don't, people may not understand what you're facing. This, this is not, I mean, so that's why I'm saying, go listen to Victor Davis Hanson. He said, we're in the middle of a revolution right now. The problem is, is people assume a revolution is people coming down the road with, with guns and blazing and you know, oh no, it's a takeover. It's right. no. If this is a this is what the the revolutions that's how, this is how they operate they 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 get into all the institutions all your education everything unions all of it and they corrupt it from within so they can take it down from within that's why these people that go along with it they're sick and they're there's something wrong with them like there there really is I'm saying that seriously because if they can't see how what they're doing will destroy them too you know, just something's not right up here. What do they believe they're going to get some special reward for helping to take down the destruction of these systems? I, you know, they don't look into history and know what will happen by doing these things. So, um, but he, he lays it out more calmly, but, but says, no, it's, it's a revolution. And, 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 it, and if they win in 2024, that you, there will never be, there won't be in parties anymore anyway. It just won't. It will be, it'll be, we will fall into what Russia did when the Blavoyage, Blav, when they w were taken over into a communist system. And, and if you think you'll vote, you can't vote your way out. So you got to try to stop it before you, and we're already there. We're already, there's a revolution going on. And most people are, st are still thinking that they should uh, care about fucking abortion. Okay. Like, we have bigger things on the plate here, people. You know, if you still want to stay with this bullshit that it's about sides. No, you're, you're the Democrat Party, the progressive, the progressive part of the Democratic Party has taken over all of the party. And they have been operating from it for years. They have been infecting the institutions. You can, like he, like Victor Davis Hanson said, you're not going to be able to move to a red state to get away from it. It will eventually fall into all, all into all of the borders of every state. I mean, right, for the last several years, people have been fleeing the blue states because of the policies, the taxes, everything they're doing because. They see what's going on, okay? And you the very fact that you see how they're trying to go after guns, and they've been doing this for a while. These are amendments they are not supposed to touch, no matter what the reason, because they protect you. And yet they're, they've they been silencing people. I mean, I wouldn't just make this stuff up. Look, I was never somebody that talked about my politics at work. I would hear people, liberals around me all the time, talk about theirs as if they think everybody's on their side. But I usually just kept to myself about it. It wasn't worth the argument. Okay, so it's not like me to get go, get on and make videos two or three times a day unless I knew we were we are at a crisis point in the history of this country. And if you care about, put it this way, if you care about your children's freedom or your grandchildren's freedom, Victor Davis Hanson said it best, then you better start speaking up and speaking up loudly because that's the only chance we got.